Welcome, Umoja 2 TV is here in the city of Troy for what should be an interesting game between teams who rest in second place in their respective divisions. In the Suburban Council, the Flying Horses of Troy High School only trail behind Schenectady in the Blue Division. Their opponent, the Saratoga Blue Streaks, are two games behind Gray Division leader, Shindahoa. Some interesting stats on the team so far in the season. Troy averages 71.2 points per game, ranked eighth in section two. Saratoga averages 63.6 points per game, ranked 23rd in the area. Saratoga is ranked 11th in section two with 72.2 three point uh, free throw percentage. However, they are ranked 46 in the area with, 20, with 83 made free throws. Troy is ranked 49th in section two with a 62.9 free throw percentage. However, Troy is ranked number one in section two with 139 made free throws. What I take away from those stats is if Saratoga can limit uh, Troy's chances to the free throw line or just stay even with them on the free throw line, I think Saratoga can take that one thing away from Troy tonight. Here's my partner, Coach Torsten Fuller. Coach, we got an interesting game here tonight between two co good caliber teams. They're both in second place in their respective divisions. So this game means a lot early in the season. So what does it take so far on these two teams? Well, I'm looking for a very exciting matchup tonight. I mean, you got Troy High, who's always formidable and is right there every year. And they like to get up and down the floor, and you know they're going to be right there. So we're looking for them to get out and run and try to get some open transitional buckets. That's the things they like to do in getting open court. And they feature Bowie, who's very outstanding guard, who likes to stroke down the three and get it into the open court and get to the basket. So with Saratoga tonight, they feature, they come in as a very big team too, and they execute very well. So we're looking at having to run their offense, execute very well. Um, the key in the matchup, you're gonna see how well that they control the boards. I'm looking to see how much offensive rebounds plays a part in this game. Um, given that Saratoga with some of their size and different things of that nature. So it should be an exciting matchup tonight here in the Fly Horses of Troy's house. And I look forward to the matchup and see what happens as we move forward in this game, Coach. Okay. Let me give you some information on some of the spotlight players tonight. Uh, Troy, the Flying Horses, their spotlight player is Dan Bowie. He's a junior. He's a 5'11". He's a guard. He's shooting 76% from the free throw line. He's ranked 39th in the area. He's averaging 24.8 points per game. He's ranked 10th in the area in scoring. He's also made 18 three-pointers. He's ranked 39th in the area. His highest game this season was 31 points against Schenectady. In that game versus Schenectady, uh, however, the flying horses came up short. Also, uh, Bowie, he scored 22 or more in seven of his nine games played so far this season. He also scored 18 uh, or better in the, uh, I'm sorry, he, his lowest output this season was, was uh, 18 points this season. So this guy really likes to put it up. Also, his backcourt counterpart, uh, Ryan Carmelo, he's a senior 5'11 guard. Uh, he's, he's right behind uh, Bowie in scoring for the team. His highest point average output this season was 18 points versus Columbia. That's a good backcourt there, Coach, that you had with Carmelo and Bowie. Uh, I like this. Um, Carmelo stroked the shot really well. He strokes the three ball, soaking Bowie. It's a good rest of combination in the backcourt for Troy High. Saratoga, their spotlight players are uh, number 21, Adam Anderson. He's a senior, 6'2 guard. He's shooting 70.5% from the free throw. From the free throw, he's uh, ranked 73rd in, the, in uh, Section 2. Uh, he averages 20.3 points a uh, game. He's ranked number 23 in the area. His highest point total this season was 29 points versus uh, Colony. Uh, his, uh, backcourt, but, no, his backcourt buddy, A.J. Lawton, he's a junior. He's 6'1". He's a guard. Um, He's, he's uh, ranked number 61 in three-pointers uh, made with 15. His highest output this season was 17 versus Columbia. Also, uh, number four, Brian Hart. He's a junior, 6'3 forward. 
He's shooting 73, 75% from the free throw lines, ranked 44 in the area. And his best game was 23 points versus uh, Shinohoa. Um, yes. Adam, Adam Anderson, he definitely is an impact player for Saratoga. And I'm looking at him from the night to get an open floor. He likes to slash and get to the hole, get to the basket. Uh, he shoots relatively well. And A.J. Lawton, same thing. Uh, individual for the Saratoga that they look, he can shoot the ball very well, shoots the three ball, looking for to get some baskets out, out of him as well, coach. I look right now for that backcourt and those guards. It's going to be an interesting matchup to see how these guys fare against one another tonight. So true. Okay, that's your Mojo 2 pregame wrap-up. We'll be right back with you when the game starts. Okay, it's nice starters for the game. Saratoga starters are... Number 21, Mike Anderson. Number four, Brian Hart. Number 15, A.J. Lawton. Number 11, Mike Tillman. 22, uh, Mark Berry. For Troy is uh, number 21, Dan Bowie. 32, Xavier Cheney. 23, Elijah Davis. 20, Joe Casal. Number one, Ethan Evans. Uh, Troy be going to our left. Saratoga be going to our right. The referees for tonight are Sean Garrity and Tom Jakes. Troy wins the jump ball. Elijah. Elijah Davis drives in, takes the contact, gets his rebound, and puts it back in for two points. Yeah, you got Troy starting out in the man-to-man -man here, coach. Ethan Evans got a little too close there. Got called for the foul on the sideline. Troy will be in the white jerseys, and Saratoga will be in the blue jerseys. The blue streaks. And down the ball. Little extra, extra pass in the paint area by the Blue Streaks there, being unselfish. The two points, the game is tied. The score is Troy two, Saratoga two, with 7-14 remaining. Troy will inbound the ball. Elijah Days has the ball, gets in the paint, throws it up, little contact. Rebound, goes to the Blue Streaks. Troy looks very aggressive in this man-to-man. -man. They're really like flying a lot of pressure on the ball. Good penetration by Saratoga. Ball goes out on Saratoga. Troy will retain the possession. Yeah, Adam Anderson on that possession was really attacking the glass. That's what we're looking for him to do in this game. He's gonna attack the glass now. Now you have Saratoga coaching a one-two-two half-court breast, it seems like. Applying a little pressure on Saratoga here. Boy takes his time, not, not being urgent. He's working the ball around. Elijah Davis seems to be the man tonight. They're getting hit, they feed him early and often. Kicks the ball back out. We gotta get going here, the shot clock didn't reset. Got five seconds on the shot clock. Down to three seconds, kicks it out. He has to let it go. Shoots it, comes up short. Mark Berry for Saratoga seems to be a live body out there, Coach. He got a few rebounds. He can handle the ball a little bit. Um, should be a guy that sets screens. He just picked and rolled just there. Extra pass. Ball bounce out of bounds. Saratoga retain possession. Yeah, you gotta like what Saratoga does here. They are really execute. You, you see you got six seconds left on the shot clock. They gotta get something here. But they're running their office and they're executing. Oh, he fights hard for that one. That's Brian Hart in the post area. Saratoga is up for the two. 
with 5.21 remaining. Bowie's the point guard for Troy team. His brother, um, Taylor Bell, Battle, he, coach, he played at Penn State and did wonder, wonders over there. Oh, yeah, yes, he was there. He did a good four years there, led the team in scoring. That guy brought a lot to the table at Penn State. Had a nice four years there, had a nice run. Oh, nice take by Joe Castell. Nice take. Yeah, very strong move by Joe inside. He has a nice size on him. Um, he can get into the interior and probably cause some problems for Saratoga here. Uh, speaking of Taylor, Taylor also went overseas and uh, played some basketball to this day, which he still does, make a nice career for himself overseas. It's always good when you can do something that you love to do and get paid for it, Coach. No That's why I try to tell a lot of guys that even though you may not make it to the NBA, you can play basketball for a long time and enjoy it. So true, Coach. There's a hand check there. Foul called on Ethan Evans. Ethan Evans picks up two quickies, coach. We're only 449 left to play in the first quarter. Yeah, he gets two quick ones there. He's being a little bit aggressive. You gotta like it, but sometimes you gotta know when to be not be overly aggressive. Coach needs you on the floor in these situations. I think he picks up his third, yeah, coach. coach. It appears that way. Adam Anderson knocks down the first one. He's a senior. They're going to look for a lot, of, uh, a lot of maturity, a lot of leadership out of this point guard here. Yeah, he's already looking to, he's already looking to attack the basket, too. I like what he's doing this first half. He's trying to establish himself, and I like what he's doing. Okay, Bowie takes his time up top, runs the offense. The ball is being orbited around the arc for a three-point shot, rims in and out. The ball bounced out on the blue streak player. I don't even know who that is. The ball's inbounded. Yeah, I see uh, Coach got Ethan out of the game and brought Merritt in, Coach, to replace him. Got him out with them three fouls. Probably would have liked to have gotten him out there a little bit before that. Yeah. He won't see no more of him. Oh, good block by Barry, Coach. I told you that guy was active. I could see it early in the game that he's a live body. Well, you definitely see Saratoga come out to play tonight. You'd like to see that from a um, rogue team coming into somebody else's house. You'd like them to see him ready to play. I see Dan Bowie repping his brother's number that he wore in high school and in college, number 12. Yes, he is. Uh, Bowie looking to get his teammates involved. Oh, oh Casal, uh, nice penetration, but the pass um, wasn't on the mark that time. So the Blue Streaks will retain possession and look to score an offense. I like what Joe was trying to do there. He was trying to attack and get inside. I don't think Elijah was ready for that interior pass. Okay, ball tipped out by Troy. The Blue Streaks will retain possession. Mark Berry comes out the game. Well-deserved rest by that guy. Um, playing very well. And uh, Connor Sullivan seems to check in for him, the senior, 5'11 guard. Coach, did you see what happened just now? Um, was there something called that we might have missed? Uh, apparently. You got A.J. Lawton on the free throw line. He makes the first one. Yeah, I, I think what happened there might have been called an he intentional makes the foul. One. Intentional foul. Okay, he makes both free throws. The score now is uh, the Blue Streaks, eight, and the Flying Horses, four. Coach, I remember back in the day, uh, back in the you know mid to late 80s, 
uh, when the Blue Streaks were really making noise, when they had Tim Parker back there, phenomenal player. Um, it was a technical foul a Technical call. foul. Oh, okay. Now, technical foul. Yeah, what I'm a little bit not understanding is why the shot clock didn't reset, but neither here nor there. Okay, the, the battle for the ball. Uh, the Blue Streak comes up with it. While Brian Hart penetrates to the basket strong with the left hand finish. Here, Bowie push it right back down their throat. He goes in, he draws the foul. The foul is the outside, he takes the ball underneath. That drive right there, Bowie just wanted to make something happen. He, they done moved up by six. That was a, a guard trying to make something happen on that play. He want to get going here. He might try to start pushing the issue a little bit. Oh, nice pass. And Joe Barcel finishes it. Nice pass by Mike Tillman for Troy. Blue Trees look to get in their offense. They switch that man to man. Defense seems to be really active. Uh, Aaron shot right there. Oh, they give it right back. He looks up, wide open. A.J. Lawton scores on the break. I think Lawton might have took extra steps there, Coach. That's, um, what, that's what the coach right now is asking the referee. Oh, is yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the toughest calls to uh, make in basketball, Coach. Absolutely, absolutely. It happens in such a split second. It's different from, like, a foul when you can see a player driving to the hole and you can expect some anticipation. That's kind of what you're looking for. A travel, you're not looking for a travel when a guy is actually driven the ball. So a lot of times they happen in a split second and you can overlook them. Coach, are you surprised right now with the score? Um, they doubled them up. I mean, the Blue Streets came in here. We got two teams that are, um, are definitely representing their division. Both of them are second place in each division, the blue and the gray. And um, yeah, you know, yeah. Troy hasn't been able to find a rhythm right now. I, I don't know. This 1-2-2 seems to be giving them a little trouble. They haven't quite figured it out yet. And I think what I would coach, I would try to probably move Bowie off the point right now because he, he's having to do too much. I want to get him free, get him in a flow right now instead of handling the ball. And right now the coach took him off the ball, so he's roaming a little bit. Got him inside. Goals. Scores. Oh, nice moving him. Post area by Bowie. The score is the Flying Horses 8, the Blue Streaks 12. Oh, Mike Tillman turns the ball over. So, uh, Troy just came right back with a score. They, they're, getting, they're getting antsy here, looking to make things happen. Oh, Cheney just hit that bucket. <laughs> Troy gets the rebound. Oh, beautiful take by Elijah Davis, the 6'4 senior. Being very evasive in the open floor. Oh, they call a foul on Dan Bowie. A little too close up on. Yeah, uh, uh, Connor Sullivan. A little too close on Connor Sullivan. Coach, Elijah's, Elijah Davis is a kid who can handle the ball in the open court, too, as well. He could definitely put the ball on the floor and get to the basket. We got a foul here. I believe that foul's on A.J. Lawton. His first foul. They are giving Bowie a lot of attention out there, Coach. Yeah. Where will he go? They got a spy on him. Saratoga saying the done went to a 2-3 now. Oh, nice take by the big fella, but he couldn't finish. Ch Xavier Ch Cheney has to finish those. Mm -hmm. Hard penetrates, dish dishes it out. Oh, extra pass, a wide open baseline three-pointer. He knocks it down! The trifecta! Wow. 
by nice. Adam Anderson. Nice Dan move. Bowie play. comes right back. Nice move by Bowie. Troy's yeah. still down by one, 14 to 15. Blue Streaks up. Mark Berry turns the ball over, then Troy turns it right back over. Anderson. Adam Anderson come back and scores on the, on the turnover by Troy. Them turnovers drive a coach crazy. Ten seconds remaining. Players trying to dribble. I'm sorry, coach. When the players trying to dribble in all kind of traffic instead of picking it up. Four seconds, coach. Step back three. Comes up short. That's the end of the first quarter. The Flying Horses 14, the Blue Streaks 17. Coach, what do you take away in the first quarter in this in his head? I didn't see much. I didn't see many people, uh, many of the players going to the free throw line. Seemed a little lethargic to start out with. Then it started to get a little heated, you know, towards the end of that quarter. Um, I, I'm anticipating a, a very exciting second quarter now that people done warmed up and uh, got their juices flowing a little bit. Um, Elijah Davis definitely came to play for Troy. Definitely. The, the game hasn't really took on a tone tonight yet. You see, like, both teams are still filling each other out, seeing what they like to do. You've seen teams stop the other team here for a moment, and the other team scores six in a row. And so it's a back-and-forth thing where it really doesn't have a feel to it yet. It'd be interesting to see the tone that's set in this second quarter. I, I noticed that Saratoga went back to a man in um, a 2-3. Their 1-2-2 two, two seem to be giving Troy a little problem. Let's see if he switches it up and goes back to that. Okay. I mean, Adam Anderson comes out, Coach, and he has seven first-quarter points. He definitely appears to be Saratoga's go-to guy and uh, come to play tonight as well, similar to Elijah Davis, who comes to play as well. Yeah, I'm expecting Adam <laughs> Davis definitely to show up. I mean, he's averaging 20.3 points a game. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting him to be the leader in this, for the offensive production for the blue streaks. Well, he's proving you right tonight. I tell you that on the onset, that's for sure. He gives a little jab step, penetrate with the left hand. That's a beautiful move, coach. Wow. Oh, way to attack the basket. Pulls up, Dan Bowie. Knocks it down. Anything you can do, I can do better, coach. Yes. I expect these two guys to go at it tonight. Like, like you a, said, they just stayed. It's starting to turn into a little uh, uh, street ball game. Yeah. Minute, guys. You want to score, I'm going to score right back at you. Yeah, you know, Bowie's a competitor, so he's not going to let you come in his home and just do you. Uh, Anderson loses the ball. His teammate picks it up. Connor Sullivan off the bench comes in and scores the baseline drive. Elijah Davis in the post area, kicks it back out the damn Bowie for a deep three-pointer. Hits the post area. Troy and Saratoga battle for it. The ball will remain with Troy. Mike Got some massive subs here. Number three, Alonzo Alexander checks in for Troy. And number five, Brandon Holmes checks in. Coach, um, I noticed that um, Ryan Carmelo is not playing. He must be injured. Coach, he didn't suit up. He didn't. He also didn't play in the, uh, the uh, any games over the break. I noticed when they played against those Syracuse teams. So I wonder if Ryan Carmelo is hurt. Dan Bowie gets called for a charging call. Second, his second uh, charge foul. In the, early in the second quarter. Mm -hmm. Bowie picks up his second foul. It'll be interesting how he plays for this last six minutes with two fouls, coach. Well, oh, good block there. Yeah, Carmelo must be injured. Yeah, I mean, Bowie gets a foul trouble. It's going to really, I mean, his bench from the point guard spot is going to be very limited with the leadership because with Ryan Carmelo not being there and Bowie gets in trouble, that leadership is going to be uh, vacant. Yeah, I agree with you there too, coach. But like we said before, coach, it's when, you know, you, it's your time to shine. It might be your turn to step up. Uh, I got to agree know? with you there as well. <laughs> you never know when your opportunities might come. That's right. Penetrate dish. Alex. 
Elijah Davis strong on the rebound and the putback. This kid has come to play tonight. Speaking of which, Coach, I used to always tell kids out there, just continue to work hard. You never know when your number is going to get called. And if you work hard, preparation meets opportunity. You usually get that call. You got to do something with it. Oh, Adam Anderson, was, he, was, he was determined to get that bucket. Teammate Barry helps him out. The outlet pass and the rebound. Mike Tillman knocks down a long two. Boy, penetrates, gets belled out. Foul oh, the, the Blue Streaks have three team fouls, and the Fly Horses have 16 fouls. The next team foul committed by the Blue Streaks to go to the free throw line. The referees are discussing, I believe, who the foul was actually called on. I'm, I'm, I'm surmising there, Coach. Yeah, I'm presuming so, Coach. I think they just want to get uh, clarification on who the foul was, yeah. Oh, they were talking about the last oh, bat, the okay. three-point, the long jump shot, he long two-point uh, that Mike Tillman knocked down for uh, the blue streak. Yeah, you called it a two, Coach, when it happened. I actually wrote down a three. <laughs> <laughs> There's that Barry kid, Coach, for Saratoga. He's always around the ball. He's one of those energy guys, Coach. You know, not looking to score too much, but he's getting his hands on balls. He's hustling and helping out teammates on drives. He's doing the little things, Coach. They're intangible. You every, guy, every, guy, every, every team needs a guy like you that. you got to have one of those. And I'll tell you, Coach, a guy like that has a nose for the ball, and the ball fi he finds it, and the ball Here's finds the ball. him. And you got to like guys like that. Yes. That's all over the place and always after the ball. I love those kind of guys. Easy inbound. Kicks it out for a three. The rim is unkind. Rebound by the Blue Streaks. Brian Hart, the junior, the 6'3 junior, he just got another rebound. Mike Tillman gives it to Anderson. Anderson makes one extra pass to Barry. Barry comes up short. Oh, the rebound. Oh, the oh, there's a foul there. Loose ball foul. That's who's going to call it on. The foul's on Troy Flying Horses. Coach Pope Bowie just picked up his third foul. Oh, third foul on Bowie. He has to exit the game. He goes to the with 448 left in the second quarter, coach. Yeah, sorry, coach. He goes to the bench at 448, and they're down. The horses are down by four points. It'll be interesting to see how they maintain as they uh, conclude this second quarter going into the half. We'll keep eye on that, coach. I know Saratoga has done a little bit of a uh, one-two-two two press. Throw. Let me see if they get up while Bowie's out of the game. Okay. Turnover by Joe Cassell. I guess he's the next guy up when uh, Bowie and Ryan's out the game, I believe, for Troy. Yeah, it appears that way. I like what he's doing, though. He's being aggressive, which is good. Oh, got a steal from behind. Good, good deflection from behind. That's it, Merrick goes to the line. <laughs> Twenty two checks in. Oh, sorry, 32 checks in. Uh, Connor Sullivan checks back in the game.
Miami gets the ball top of the key. Looks to make some moves up top. He penetrates. He gets hit to the outside. He's going to go to the free throw line. Fouls on Brandon Holmes. Troy has 18 fouls. Uh, the Blue Streaks have 14 fouls. Anderson, A Adam Anderson, he misses the first free throw. He makes the second. I like it. Anderson's throwing those guys. You press up on me, I'm going by you. I'm going yeah. to the Baja. <laughs> <laughs> Saratoga settles in the 2 3 here, coach. Oh, good deflection by the Blue Streak player. Tillman gets the ball on the break. Oh, good block by Elijah Davis. Way to run the floor. Don't no give up on the play. Yeah, like you uh, said. Brandon Holmes is, is uh, getting, a, getting, a chew, getting chewed out by his coach. He must have liked something he did back in the offense, on the offensive set last play. I think he took an ill-advised three-point baseline three-pointer, coach. Yeah, definitely. Adam Anderson going to work, coach. He's putting those buckets up. Anderson putting in work tonight. He's cooking up. I like what I'm seeing from this kid tonight. He come to play. This is what you were talking about, Coach, if Dan Bowie got in foul trouble, and you're seeing it a little bit here. A long three-point three miss by Elijah, uh, Elijah Davis from Troy. Uh, the Blue Streets re rebounded. Oh, offensive. Player control foul, Coach, on the Blue Streak. Troy will inbound the ball. But yeah, coach, their offense is totally out of sync. And like you, like you aforementioned, stated with Carmelo being out, coach, it's going to be interesting to see how. And I, and as right on cue, coach calls a timeout because I think he senses what you talked about earlier with Carmelo being out and if Bowie got foul trouble, the offense would probably be out of sync and they would lack leadership out there. Yeah, yeah. Troy calls a timeout. Um, and Hurley's really uh, getting into his guys in that huddle over there. Coach, what is Saratoga coach saying right now to his players? I like what I'm seeing right now, guys. It's 3.09 left. We're down by six. Let's maintain the lead and then try to add on to the lead. So right now, be patient. Keep working your offense, doing your things. you got to love what Adam is doing. So right now, he's got to like where you're at when you're on the road and you're up by six with 3.09 left going into the halftime, coach. That's, that's so true. Troy with inbound the ball near half court. Looking to get some momentum in here. This is probably one of the bigger games of the night tonight in our section in double A ball in the Suburban Council tonight. Um, this game here will have imp implications later on down the road. Okay, in inbounded by Troy. Nazir Merritt has the ball, works the ball around. Elijah Davis punts, fakes him, drives to the basket. Over the back on uh, Mark Berry. The ball will be out of bounds. I like to see the out of bounds plays go. I, 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 love, I like to take, think of these out of bounds plays as special teams where you can get a quick, easy one and you no know, things. I like to see what coaches come up with. This is this is one of the things that, that really intrigues me in um, coaches' preparation. That was easy in there, very easy. Yeah, coach, they don't understand those are scoring opportunities, and you have about, on an average, probably eight out of bounds a game. There are scoring opportunities that you're supposed to draw up plays and try to get something out of. Costell, Joe Costell gets ridden going to the basket. He will go to the line. Shooting two. He's way off, coach. Way off there. That ricochet is off the, off the backboard. <laughs> Joe has come to play. He's making some aggressive moves. He's attacking the basket. Yeah, we got a oh, violation that's, here. That's off the posterior. He got lucky there. Yeah. He got belled out. That was a that didn't look good at all coming off his fingertips. Yeah, and Anderson stepped in early on that one. He was ready for the box out and he stepped in early, which gives Castle another shot at the free throw.
Oh, good grown man rebound. That was a grown man rebound, Coach, by Nick Char Charty, the 6'1 junior. You like rebounds like that. Yes. Brian Hart oh. saved it, crossed it over. Nice move. Nice pull up the lefty. Oh, oh the lefty. Oh. Wow. Nice move on the baseline by Hart. Oh, and yeah, he did a nice little boogie, coach. Little boogie, boogie. With the nylon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mary has the ball top of the key. Looks to make something happen. Elijah pump fakes. He called a travel. I didn't see. I didn't see a travel there, coach. I didn't see a travel. He there. definitely traveled there. Um, it was a nice pump fake move. Troy has a good possession by Troy. They shared the ball very well. Got to the corner, nice pump fake. But he did move those puppies a little bit too much. There. I just thought it was a long, he gained it long step after the pump fake. I didn't think he. I thought he put the ball down before he lifted his pivot foot up. I, just, I think he just took a long step. If you watch closely right there, coach, when he stopped, he kind of pity pat his feet right about there. Good block. Oh, he stays with it, coach. Oh, oh my wow. God. Oh, my wow. God. Wow. Adam Anderson, Anderson going to work out here tonight. Come coach. play tonight. This is his gym. Yeah, yeah exactly, coach. He's definitely making a, a case for that, for real. Joe goes in, gets his rip. Lucky his teammate gets it. He gets his block. He gets it. Oh, his teammate gets it again. It scores. Shane, he scores that one for for the flying horses. Little full court pressure, man to man pressure there. Oh, he does right by him. Looks, he dumps it down. Aaron pass through the ball right out of his shoelaces, coach. You can't be down to get that far for that one. Yeah, yeah. left hand pass in the baseline. If he makes it, it's good. If he doesn't, you get a ah. Uh, yeah. Right now, Troy's down by eight with a minute left here to go in, in the second quarter. Let's see what they do. You want to typically keep it under 10 points. Three ball, knocks it down, Brandon Holmes, knocks it down. Big basket right there, coach. The score is five horses, 25, the blue streaks, 30. Oh, nice spin move there, all the way to the cup. He gets fouled up top. He will go to the free throw line, shooting one and one. Coach, is, Coach Adam Anderson will is basically taking over in this game. I mean, his, I can just feel his will. I can feel his energy out there, Coach. Like, I'm going to do what I want to do when I feel like I want to do it. He attacks in the basket with such veracity. And what I would gather from Adam right now, Adam just made up his mind that I don't believe anybody out here can stop me. Mm. And that's just the bottom line, and I'm bringing it to you. And show me that you can stop me. He makes the first free throw. He off the posterior, Coach. It's unlike uh, Saratoga missing so many free throws. They're ranked 11th in all Section 2. That's 94 schools. They're number 11th. Wow. They expect him to make, knock those down. Yes. The shot clock and the game clock is identical here, so they probably run it down and try to hold for the last shot and maybe put this within four points going into the half. And with Hurley, you have to be ha happy if that happens with Bowie on the bench. And uh, your other point guard, not even available. Yeah, absolutely. He said he stepped out. Mm. All right, Troy uh, turns it over once again. The blue streak will inbound it with 3.6 seconds remaining. A long inbound pass. Holmes steals it, dribbles it up, pulls up for the three, and he... Doesn't get it. No foul call. No, no, no charge call. That's the first half. People, uh, the score is the Flying Horse is 25 and the Blue Streak 31. We'll be right back after this. Welcome to Jamoja 2 Halftime Report. We had an exciting game tonight with two teams who were battling for supremacy in the uh, Suburban Council this season. Both teams are in second place. So far tonight, we see a game of, of energy from a lot of players I wasn't expecting to see, like uh, Mark Berry. That guy from Saratoga came in and gave a lot of energy, a lot of tip balls, and, and showed why he should be out there with a lot of playing time. 
But our major player tonight is Adam Anderson. That guy puts it in the hole. He can score from the outside. He likes to penetrate to the basket, and he's doing his thing. The major concerns I see right now is Troy having Bowie and foul trouble with three. And uh, Ryan uh, Carmelo is not in action tonight. He's in street clothes, so that's going to be an issue. Um, so far, I got Adam Anderson with 15 points. He's leading all scores, 15 in the first half. Coach, what do you see so far? So far right now what I see is that, of course, Troy's been plagued by foul trouble thus far with uh, getting um, Bowie picking up his third foul earlier in the game. It's Evans as well. So he had to go to the bench and bring some personnel in and kind of hurt him there a little bit. But Saratoga has just been attacking the glass, attacking the basket. Like it's been like on a one-man show, but it's really not a one-man show. The guys are working together very well. It's just that Adams, is just he just coming and taking over and enforcing his will out on the court. It would be interesting to see how the second half with Bowie coming back, staying out of foul trouble, he see this kid doing all this on the bench, coach. He's going to get out there. He's going to want to go at it real hard. Yeah, it's so it's going to be excited. interesting to see what he does this second yeah, half. It's going to be exciting. To and see. how he comes out and really uh, um, presents himself and starts to enforce his will on and his what game. what I saw too, coach, is that Elijah Davis from Troy really stepped up in the absence um, of Bowie. And he actually was doing this thing when Bowie was in the game. Bowie right now has seven points. I'm looking for him to step up huge in the second half and, uh, and have Troy back in the thick of things late in this game. Coach? Yeah, we'll see what happens here when they get full strength going to court. I know Hurley's in there saying we got to stop this guy. He's saying this guy got 15 first half points. Who's going to stop this guy? Who's going to yeah. take the initiative? He's in our house. Yeah. He's showing off 15 first half points. He's on pace to have 30. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So he's yeah. going to say, who's going to take the challenge and step up? So we'll see what happens here for second half. Six points is not a lot. It's not right. a lot to be concerned about. Right. But Saratoga has to be happy thus far. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Okay, that's our halftime report. We'll get back to you on the other side. Okay, the Blue Streaks will inbound the ball. Yep, we begin the second half. Deflection. Brandon Holmes a little hype right now to start the second half. A lot of energy. Saratoga's up. 31 to 25. Troy comes out in a 1-3-1 here, Coach. They switch it up a little bit. Oh! Adam Anderson knocks down the deep three. Bowie starts the second half. Kicks it out to Brandon. Holmes, he misses the three. Oh, Joe Cassell pinned Oh, he, he gets that. Aaron, uh, rebound, long. Holmes goes to the basket. He's ready to play, Coach. He's a little active right now. I see yeah. the energy start the second half. After somebody that, had to do something with uh, <laughs> Mr. Anderson. Double lay. Adam Anderson. <laughs> oh, there's that Barry kid, coach. Yep. There's that Barry kid. He does the little things to keep the ball alive for his team. Very active body. Shoot two shots for Saratoga. Number 22, Mark Barry. I'm going to start calling Anderson uh, the Matrix. <laughs> I like that, Coach. Mr. Anderson. Uh, word out, Coach. <laughs> the first shot off they the posterior. It. He missed the second one. Short. The, the whole goal of the Matrix was to stop Anderson, wasn't That's it? Right. <laughs> Give me the... Ethan Evans uh, shuffles those puppies before putting the ball on the floor. Turnover by Troy. The Blue Streak for inbound the ball. It'd be interesting to see how Bowie um, comes out this second half to see if he tries to go really at it aggressively or let the game come to a little bit, maybe force too much. It's going to be interesting to see how he, how he does here. And I'd like to see what Anderson does. Would he like attack him on purpose knowing that he has three fouls? or anybody who's, uh, that uh, Bowie's guarded. That I guy, have the guy just go right at him. I'm sorry, Coach. That guy's been attacking everybody all night. There's a post-up oh, foul. That can't be a number four on Bowie. Oh, damn, Bowie gets called. For a foul in the post area. He has to be smarter than that in that situation. Be careful not to. Oh, Lord is eating, coach. Feed him. 
He got number feed him. and he got number twenty one on too, Coach Ezekiel Elliott, oh, Coach. Yeah, right, feed that's him. Right, Cowboys Nation, yeah. all day long, all day every day. <laughs> Holmes penetrates, kicks it out. There's Joe Cassell with another kick out to Elijah Davis. Nice jab, step, kick, extra pass. Saratoga's playing real good defense. Oh, left him up for a second. Yeah. Bang! Bang! The trifecta. Elijah Davis. I was wondering why Elijah didn't take that three the first time he touched the ball. The guy has a pretty good stroke for a big fella. He can knock that down, coach. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice release. They try to, uh, the blue sheet tried to answer back. I don't know why the Troy play didn't try to grab that, coach. Tackle that guy again, guy. Oh, yeah. High energy Barry gets the ball. Turn over, here goes Joe, goes in, and he finishes Joe it. The score is the Blue Streaks 36, the Flying Horse is 32. Yeah, Castle's been attacking the basket all night. Oh, wow. coach. This is Mr. Anderson. Wow. Oh, coach. This guy's putting it on a show. He's actually looking like a man amongst boys out there right now, yes, Coach. Yes, Coach. This, oh, wow. I, I think now he might be getting in that proverbial zone that we oh, talked yes, about. Yes, that yes, It's yes. my night. Nobody can't stop me. And I'm going to do me out here. That's right. That's right, Coach. I mean, the flow, and the flow that he's in right now, he has to have a clear mind. I bet you everything else looks slow to him out here. Yeah. And he just doing what he want to do out here, Coach. If I'm if I'm coach right and if I'm coach early right now, I may be thinking about double teaming this guy. All right, put or put one of my defenders on him to harass him and deny him the ball wherever he go. And once he catches and he makes his move, I might want to start to send a double team. I know it's high school basketball, but if a guy started out with 15 first half points and now he scored about another five to seven points the second half, we're looking at 22 points for the third quarter. You may want to do something to try to stop this guy, coach. You might drop 50, coach, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not careful here. And, and get guys in foul trouble yeah, on his way to doing that's it. Right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> He's the bulk of their scoring right now. I mean, you got Mike Tillman out there who can, who can, who can uh, put it down a little bit um, right now. But that's the only one I really see is a score. The rest of the guys are scrappy. You know, they can, they can definitely knock it down. But... Right now, Mr. Anderson is that guy. I, I don't know, Coach. Other guys may can do something, but he just can't be stopped tonight. So why take it out of his hand if that's the case? That's right. Rebound by Holmes. Ethan I mean, Evans. Ethan Evans. He knocks down the two. Mike Tillman with the ball is uh, being pressured. A little bit of hand check. Got to watch that there. Good defense by Ethan Evans. Brandon Holmes has it on the break. He goes right to the bucket. He's a lefty coach, used his right hand, couldn't oh. finish that time. He used that right hand very well, too. It didn't even look like he was a lefty the way he used that right hand. He's going to the line, shooting two. Foul is charged to Saratoga, number 32, Connor Sullivan. His second foul, teams first. Shooting two shots to Troy, number five, Brandon Holmes. What I like what's happening with Troy Air Coach is between Joe Carlson and uh, Brandon Holmes, these two guys are attacking the basket with veracity. And they're actually keeping Troy around in this game. I'm happy with the way that they're taking upon himself. And you got Davis who's doing his thing as well. Sarato gets the rebound. Oh, good anticipation by Joe Carlson. He draws the foul on Mr. Anderson. I believe that's Mr. Anderson's first turnover, Coach. I might have missed one early in the first half, but he hasn't been turning the ball over much at all, if any at all tonight. I have to agree with you. That probably is his first turnover. He's been taking care of the ball. <laughs> all his actions have been at the Baja. That's right. Joe Gazelle misses the free throw. He's all, he's all for three from the line right now coach he needs to knock one down here why not keep sending got your line they can't make the free throws yeah. makes the free throw foul charge choice number 15 with these things on his first foul the team's 
third. Faison just called for the foul. He ain't on. Oh, they double, they go to double. Oh, he finds the open man, coach, and the foul! Oh. Mr. Anderson is doing it all here, coach! Oh, wow! He saw the double come. He had his head up and found the guy close to the rim. A wow! A lot of selfish. Yeah, excuse me, I'm sorry. sorry, coach. A lot of players don't realize that when they're being trapped, the best way to look is opposite. And he looked opposite and found his man right underneath. You gotta love it. Yes. Oh, okay, here we go. Elijah Davis goes to the basket. Connor Sullivan gets his third foul. Troy will inbound the ball. Three minutes and 52 seconds left to go here in the third period, coach. Yes, sir. and the Blue Streaks are still mounting that lead, 41 to 36. Shoots a long ball and misses everything. Uh, Mr. Anderson gets the ball, goes right to the rack. Good defense by Troy. Troy gets the air pass, looks up. Oh! Joe tracks it down. Uh, uh, Saratoga, bringing it up. A lot of ping pong action there that last time, coach. Mm -hmm. Oh, good oh, pass. Yeah. Got the block from behind. It's Faison with the block from behind. <laughs> Cheney just checked into the game for Troy, along with no, 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 no. Oh, he checked out Joe Cassell. Wow. That's Mr. Anderson, coach, with the left hand. He doesn't finish. Barry is called for the push on the rebound. Mr. Anderson, coach, missed his last three shots, I believe, coach, getting blocked from behind. Um, just blew that simple one right there. So, and the Troy Demons might be wearing him down now, coach. It might be, coach. Right now, Barry just picked up his third foul, and Sullivan has three as well, too. So, Saratoga experiencing a little bit of adversity for the first time tonight. Yeah, and a little bit of foul trouble here, too. Guys got to be careful not to pick up their fourth foul. Bowie's still in the bench, coach, with three fouls, with two. 55 to play. But he has four fouls. Check I'm that, sorry, coach. four fouls. I'm sorry. Oh, he gets it knocked away from him. Troy looks to penetrate. Oh, a lot of ping pong action going on, coach. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nice take by A.J. Lawton. In and out. Oh, got it still by Faison. The left hand. He finishes it. Mike Tillman kicks it back out. Wide open to AJ Alton. He knocks it down. The drive stepped up. Yeah, like I said, coach. It's not that they don't have other players who can do it. It's just that Anderson has been doing it all night. You see other people starting to step up here a little bit. That's right. A.J. Lowe, the guy you don't leave one lead open for the three-pointer, coach. Oh, Elijah Davis slices in the lane and scores with contact. Uh, yeah, Lowe, you don't want to leave open for the Blue Streaks, coach. He's, he got 15 threes coming to this game, ranked number 61 in the area. So he can definitely shoot that rock. Anderson looking to force a little bit, coach. Kicks it out. Oh, from downtown! Way right from the parking lot, coach! Wow! From deep! What's going on? What happened here now? They called a technical foul made for 
talking or maybe give a warning. I'm not sure here. Oh, the technical foul on age on um and Mr. Anderson, Adam Anderson. For taunting. I think the referees need to have bunny ears on that one, Coach. I don't know. I guess it depends on what he said. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that was an unsportsmanlike technical foul. In that situation right there, Coach, what it is is that for pre preventative officiating, you want to clean that stuff up so it doesn't go into nothing else. When you start chirping and chanting and chapping and, 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 and people face and things of that nature, the other team is probably going to respond at some point. So Excuse me, Coach. Elijah Davis knocks down both free throws, those technicals. Yeah, I hear you, Coach. There you go. I don't know what was said. I, you know, if it was a curse word, but, but I, I just don't. I mean, basketball is an emotional game. If I say yeah, if I knock a three, I should get a technical foul for that. You know, I, you know, there's certain things I believe should be left alone. I can't. I don't want to. You can't tell me what I'm thinking or how I'm thinking or whatever. I mean, you can't be inside my head to know how I'm feeling when I say a certain word. So yeah, certain things, Coach. I agree with you, but certain things you can't be demonstrative about. You get a little bit demonstrative, it's considered unsportsmanlike contact and taunting. Okay, good defense by Troy. He gets bailed out. Brandon Holmes gets called for a foul. And, and again, Coach, I don't want to belabor the point here, but a little bit of preventive officiating is you don't want to throw the guy and then the guy responds by throwing a punch or something like that. So you try to clean that up. Good call there. Offensive foul. foul. That's Barry. Oh, Mark Oh, Mark Barry, the energizer guy, Coach. He got his fourth foul. Yeah. That could be crucial down the stretch, Coach. You need that energizer, energizer guy. Yeah, I, I would probably want to get him out of the game. At the, at the two, three minute mark, if you could, when the guy got three fouls and risked the possibility of picking up his fourth foul. Probably, Coach, if we could do it over again, probably would want to get him out a little bit earlier than that. Nice pump fake by Davis. Elijah Davis goes in. Scores a critical basket to keep him within five. Coach, the score is 44. Troy, 49, the Blue Streaks. Nice move by Davis. Oh, the Troy bench won the uh, uh, travel call, Coach. Yeah. They thought he picked up his dribble and dribbled it again. But to Norvell, uh, the Blue Streaks will re retain possession. Good deflection by Ethan Evans. Good defense by uh, the Blue Streaks that time. Thus far, the turnover, the turnover battle is pretty even, coaches. Both of them got 11 Apple turnovers apiece. Wow. Gotta be careful not to rack up those apples. That's right. Oh, they're throwing they a double at him, Coach, like you said earlier. Throw two at Oh, Coach! Wow. Coach! That pass was insane! Wow. What the traffic! Wow. wow! Unbelievable! Wow! At the end of the third quarter, the Blue Streaks 51. The Flying Horse is 44. Coach, wow. look at the way right here where he just splits the D. He gets between the defense right here with a nice move. Penetrates to the hole and with a laser sharp pass down inside to Hart for the two. Just nasty. <laughs> All right, coach. I mean, you got Bowie out the game for a majority of that third quarter. What is Hurley trying to do right now? Is he going to bring him at the start of the eighth? I mean, start of the fourth quarter? Or do you bring him in about two minutes with, into the fourth quarter? What are you doing here to protect Bowie? If I'm telling you right now, I have to be satisfied, I would say, because it's a seven-point lead right now. So to my guys, in the absence of Bowie, kind of hung around and battled and gave me what I wanted and let, didn't let the game get away from me. So right now, I got to insert him here. This is probably the largest lead of the game thus far at seven points. You don't want this thing to stretch 
and then you got to put Bowie back in the game, and then he maybe forces the issue a little bit here and there, and maybe dig yourself into a deeper hole. You got to tell him now, maybe play a little zone to protect him. You got to bring him out in the game. You need his offense on the floor. Saratoga is starting to get into one of their moves, and they're feeling themselves. It's a good game. Their momentum is going. Their confidence is up. This kid, Adam, he's proved to be unstoppable thus far. So right now, I don't think you can afford to keep Bowie on the bench here. I think Coach has no choice but to go with him. But what do I know? We'll see what he does here. <laughs> what do you think the Saratoga's huddle was like? Um, sustain what we're doing here. I like what we're doing here. And keep doing what we're doing. Box out. Limit them to one shot. Get down. And what do you say? I mean, do you say, hey, Get the ball in Adam's hand. Just, just keep feeding him. He's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's making the right decisions too, Coach. When he does have the ball, he's giving it up when he has. He I'm is. To, so. He is. When all else fails, right. hey, That's gotta right. get to Adam. So I trust that guy with the ball. Mr. <laughs> Anderson, I trust with the ball. <laughs> I trust him with the ball. Oh. Absolutely. No he's, question he's about it. He's train, hitting the deep ball, and be passing it. He's doing everything out of tonight, Coach. One more uh, to the inbounds the ball. Oh, offensive foul to start the fourth quarter, Coach. Mm. Another. Piling up the apples. Coach, Bowie didn't start the fourth quarter. Like I said, what do I know? <laughs> okay, uh, Troy has 17 fouls and the blue streak. I think, I think Hurley just got ejected, Coach. Oh, wow. Yeah, he just got ejected. Oh, is, is it on the bench or is it on Hurley? Oh, technical foul on Troy's bench. Okay, AJ Lawton knocks down the first uh, technical, expands that lead. Yeah, Hurley got ejected apparently, coach. Oh, he did get ejected. Yes. Oh, apparently that's his second ejection of the season. His second ejection of the season by Coach Hurley. It was a, it was a point of emphasis this year for the officials to try to control the um, referees a little bit more. Not control, maybe not word, not right word, but manage them a little bit better where they're managing themselves a little bit better in the context of the game. I know that was a point of emphasis this a year. AJ Lawton locks down the second uh, technical, coach. Long ball, no good. Greg Davis will take over the commands for Troy High School now. Yep, the assistant coach steps in and assumes his duties. Just like the players, coach. You never know when your number might be called. <laughs> You're right, coach. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> okay, the foul's on Brandon. I'm sorry. Yeah, Brandon home, number five. He gets his fourth foul, coach. Wow. That's huge right there. He's one of the guys that's been slashing to the hole and keeping him around. Troy has 19 fouls, and the Blue Streaks have two fouls. I, coach, in the beginning of this fourth quarter, I previously stated that you have to be careful with keeping Bowie on the bench here starting the fourth quarter too long because this league can expand. I mean, right now they're up by nine. He missed the first one. If he, missed the second first one. One. Yep. if he makes the second one, Coach, then they're up by 10 points. With seven minutes to go. I think we're the biggest league of the game so far. Biggest league of the game, Coach. Ten points. Uh, difference right, deficit right now for the Flying Horses. Joe Cassell has the ball. Oh, Faison knocks down the three ball. A quick timeout by Troy, and Dan Bowie enters the game with 7-12 remaining. And the score is Troy 47, Saratoga 54. Good timeout by the Troy coach there, I thought. That's I thought Greg Davis, coach. That's Greg Davis, who's the head coach now of Troy because uh, uh, Richard Hurley got uh, ejected from the game. That's a good timeout by Greg Davis there, coach. I thought Troy was a little discombobulated right there. They were a little bit out of sync. You just had your leader. Your head coach just got ejected from the game. A little bit uncertainty is settling, settling in there. You knock down a big three, get a timeout, maybe apply a little bit of pressure here, get up, maybe get a still or so here, and get right back in this game where you want to be. I like this timeout. Let's see what it yields, if it yields anything. Yeah, a lot of time. I mean, you got seven. I mean, I mean, please, you got that's a. I mean, that's eternity. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's, a, that's not even. That's not even discussed uh, at this not, point. Not even. Point. Not the mute point. <laughs> Plenty of time. 
And, and, and actually, I like what Faison has given him coming off the bench. Yeah. He's going to stabilize the point guard position, Coach. Yes, you say? Uh, yes, I would. Yes, I would. He's got a lot of energy on the defensive end that I like. He likes to harass the guard, bring the ball up the court. And, he's, and he, you know, you could tell that he hasn't been playing that much because his jump shot a little off. But he did knock down a few tonight, you know. So, and he going to the basket, got a nice steal, penetrated um, on, the, on the fast break and scored a couple times. I mean, like, the, the, the kid is definitely showing up, you know. Yeah, he's giving him some good minutes off the bench right here. And that's why he stayed in the game, too. Even with, with, even with the insertion of Bowie back into the game, you keep, you keep Faison in the game. That's right. Mr. Anderson has the ball, Coach. Yeah. He got Joe Casella. That's going to be Joe easy got, to take. Joe, Joe ought to be careful here. He's already in foul trouble. Oh, that's right. Rebound by Brian Hart. Oh, Lawton had the ball, but he got knocked out of his hand. There's no call there by the referee. Helps the two players up. Troy comes down, turns it over. Brian Hart steals it for the blue streaks. I thought there should have been a call there, Coach. I don't know. Usually when two players fall down like that, usually there's something called, but uh, play on. Yeah, you can't assume that because players come crashing. Everybody thinks something happened there. Sometimes it's just incidental contact. Play on. Brian Hart looks to penetrate, but Faison there to cut off that uh, baseline. There's Mr. Anderson. Oh, gets buoy, Coach, and he knocks wow. it down. He says, take that, take yeah. that. <laughs> this kid is the real deal. Uh oh Bowie right back at him. He's, he's really cold, coach. That's what I was afraid of. Bowie coming in the game and starting to force the issue a little bit after being out and trying to get it back in one shot. That was the advice shot right there. If you could have that back, you probably wouldn't take that. Under six minutes to go. Uh, Troy 47, Saratoga 55. Oh, Joe Cassell hustles in that. Almost got the steal. Back You got 17 seconds left here on the shot clock. Like I said again, Coach, here's another inbound play. If you got an inbound yes. plays, this is the one. I see. Oh, Tillman was open, Coach, on that. Oh, you're looking, oh, you're looking to get Mr. Anderson the ball in the post that time. Yeah. It's being proved. It's been been proven to be hard. He's being hard. He's hard to stop. Yeah. Oh, AJ Lawton foul. He uh, rebounds his own missed three point shot. Coach Saratoga routinely is getting second and third opportunities on every possession. Troy can't afford that. You can't give up. You can't lose the 50 50 ball uh, situation in this game too. Hmm. Jump ball. Jump ball possession, possession stays with the blue streaks. Coach, in a jump ball, you don't have to have two ball, two hands on that, or just you can have one. You can have one hand on the ball for a jump ball, definitely. Oh, Mr. Anderson with the left hand, he missed it. He thought he got fouled on that one. I like that. Troy penetrates. Bowie has the ball. He goes to the rack. No, no, no. That's on the outside. No shot, no shot. We're in the one and one position. Uh, the fight horses are in the one and one. The score is 47, Troy. Saratoga, 55. Coach Mike Davis, the assistant coach who filled in for uh, Coach Hurley, is really shuffling those guys on the. On the uh, on the bench over there, Coach. He is. He's really engaged. He really is. He's definitely working the sideline, Coach. <laughs> Bowie knocks down the uh, the front end of a one and one. Every free throw now is critical. And uh, Troy actually leading section two on free throws made this season. Bowie knocks down both. For well, Saratoga is uh, ranked number 11th in section two with the free throw percentage. Oh, he finds the gap. Barry looks at, oh, there's an extra pass. Oh, Brian Hart should have kept going to the basket. I saw what Barry was trying to do there for the blue streak. Oh, there's Coach Davis, Coach. He's shuffling those guys in and out. He's shuffling them in and out, Coach. He really is. I got to see what he's doing here and what's his method to doing this. I think it's like offense and defense looks like, but I can't, it's a little too, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna wait and see what, what's, what's gonna come out of this. 
Well, he, plus he got guys in foul trouble too, so he's probably protecting guys yeah. in foul trouble as well. Oh, uh, Troy got bailed out on that one there. Because you got Holmes over there with four fouls. Bowie with four fouls. Bowie over there, Bowie with four fouls on the court. You got two guys right now with, with four fouls. And you got Evans with three. Wow. Oh, he kicks it out to Bowie for the three ball. Oh, in and out. The ball stays with Troy. Uh, Mr. Anderson and Brandon Holmes battle for it, but it goes uh, goes out on the blue streaks. And, and like I previously stated once again, you see Bowie out here, he's pressing a little bit, Coach. And a lot of times young players will do that, especially when they start looking at the clock and it seems like the time is ticking away. And you just need to let it come to him. He'll get his opportunities yep. still it's early in the game. It's a big basket if he can get that. Yeah. Oh, he called a foul. Thought it have been a jump ball, but hey, what did I know? The foul's on Elijah Davis. There's a one-on-one -one situation here. Chuck, I think they're in a the double bonus Mike, now, Coach. Oh, double bonus. I'm sorry. Yes, they're in a the double bonus now. And uh, Mike Tillman would go to the line. Yeah, in that situation, once you come around a guy's back and you tie him up, they're going to call a foul on that every time. I thought he might have tied him up earlier, though, Coach. Then the guy moved to the – move. Moves his body and, it, and it inadvertently just got twisted some type of way. I don't. Yeah, and yeah. I agree with you, Coach. I think that you got to get that tie up there. And if you don't get it there, you got to let it go. Point well taken. Timeout by the Blue Streaks. He knocks down the second one. Mike Tillman knocks down the second free throw. The score is uh, Troy 49, the Blue Streaks 56, with 437 remaining. Coach, uh, I think it's time to talk about our top five um, so far. I mean, we got to change this from last week. We're going to change from week to week. But my, my top five right now is Schenectady, Shin, Bethlehem, Shaker, and Green Tech. That's my top five. We can get into it um, a little more um, after we hear yours. Coach. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> let me go in a little bit more. The reason why I put... Yeah, I'm, the reason why I um I put I put uh I put Schenectady ahead of Shin this week because you know they got Schenectady's been playing really big. They beat a lot of the top teams right now. They beat both Troy, they beat Troy and they beat Colony, you know, who were and who were in the thick of things um in the beginning of the season. So I give them kudos for that. Holmes goes in, but he can't finish. Yeah, Coach, I'll get to my top five in a minute. <laughs> I mean, especially, I think, uh, uh, yeah. Um, the ball's worked around. Like, they're going to uh, use the clock a little bit here um, for, um, for Saratoga. Ain't no hurry whatsoever. Mr. Anderson pitches it. Oh, it's a big shot there, coach. He wow. knocks it down. Wow. Big shot, Mike Tillman. Wow. You got to appreciate the patience there. there Mr. That Holmes, right back at him. Oh. Knocks it down. Okay. Seven point game. Troy calls a timeout. Wow. I got you. Uh, that's your top five, Coach. Yes, absolutely. Just real quick, I like that possession right there with Adams when he drives and kicks. He shows a lot of patience in getting his teammates involved and is paying dividends. Coach, my top five, I have to go with Shin, number one, my top five. Defending champions right now, and thus far they've been handling their business this season. Schenectady, I like what Schenectady do. We had the opportunity. It was fortunate to see them play. They look very strong, and they're undefeated thus far in the season. My third is Albany Academy. I go to go with them. They're always solid year in, year out. Green Tech is my fourth. I kept Green Tech in my top five because although they just had a loss to Colony, Green Tech is one of those teams that plays in ebbs and flows. They're one of those teams that can lose Colony and then go down to New York City and play one of them powerhouse teams and pull out a victory. So I'm going to keep them in my top five. They usually have those ebbs and flows. And to round out my top five, the pesky team that I have to say I have to get Bethlehem. Mm. They're a pesky team. They play hard. You know you're going to be in a battle with those guys. So that rounds out my top five. 
Yes, even though uh, Colony beat Green Tech last week, I thought before that game, Colony's been in a downslide. You know, I think it was the catch game for uh, Green Tech maybe, you know. I think if Green Tech lose another local uh, game, they're out of my top five. I have to agree with you. I have to definitely reevaluate my top five if they lose another game as such. All right. Um, Saratoga is definitely taking their time. Not in a rush. In situations like that, when a team want to milk the clock, they got to be careful, though, here, too. But when you got this guy, I mean. Yeah. Oh, he's he really is. Okay. Troy has a little life here. You get a bucket here, you never know. Way to draw that foul. Bowie's very masterful at drawing that type of foul. He knows how to use his body and, and flail his arms and everything to be very demonstrative, make that referee make a call. Well, I think in that situation with him um, rush, um, plow in like that, ref probably didn't want to give him his fifth foul on either. He knocked down the front end. Because on that play, he initiated a lot of contact. The score is 53, Troy. Saratoga 59, 2.59 remaining. Oh, he missed the second free throw. Oh, critical. Yeah, those are big. You can't be missing those right now. Troy, he's double teaming the point guard. Oh, he got to have that steal there. Mr. Anderson goes in. Nothing there. He doesn't get called for the foul. Joe Cassell goes in. That move wasn't very strong at all or wise. He had three defenders right in front of him. Unless he got some explosive jumping ability, he needs to bring that right back out. Yeah, what I know is about Castle. He just plows his head down and go to the basket, coach. There's no rhyme or rhythm in what he does. It's crunch time. You got to know time to score. Wake up. <laughs> Boy, from the deep three. That's not a good shot. The bad shot and then a silly foul yeah, here. Yeah, that foul was, they're in a double, they're in a bonus, they're in double bonus. That's, only thing you gotta hope for, this guy is not that good from the free throw line. But, he shoots 75% from the free throw line. He's ranked 44th in the section with 75% from the free throw line, coach. Yeah, and then they're in a double bonus, so he gets two whacks at it to Oh, no, he missed down. the he missed first one, though. Wow. Might have paid off. You jinxed him. <laughs> that always happens to the announcers. He knocks down the second one. Bowie lets the ball roll down. The clock doesn't start. Bowie got to realize there's still a lot of time left. He don't got to do it all by himself. Elijah Davis, just a three ball. Oh, brick shot. That's nothing but oxygen there at times. They're walking the ball up. The score, uh, the blue streaks are up by seven. Oh, it, uh, Mr. Anderson is just, you know, toying with guys right now. Gives it out, looks for Hart. Lawton, pumps fakes. Gives it to Connor Sullivan, doesn't get it. Oh, Ryan Hart is battling for that ball. Bowie gets the ball on the break. Deflection. Deflection, deflection. Uh, Connor Sullivan deflected the ball out of bounds. Right now, if I'm the Troy coach, I might want to get a timeout here and draw up something where I get a really good, decent shot out of this uh, possession right here. Yeah, that would be wise. They're in the 2-3, coach. Mm. Oh, and they picks up a charge call. It's a legal, no such thing as a legal screen, but would they call that a charge, coach, you said? Blocking foul. Blocking foul, wow. He wasn't, he wasn't, he said the ref, so the ref uh, surmised that he wasn't uh, standing still on that? He was just kept moving. But it, I'm, I'm, it shouldn't be shots right here. That's a team control foul. Should be taken out of bounds. Yeah, they got it okay, together they now. They it, figured yeah. it out. Yeah, that's a team control foul. You don't shoot any shots of that, even if you're in the bonus. Okay, uh, the blue streaks were inbound in with 146 remaining. That's why I thought the coach should have got a timeout in that possession, coach, and drew up something yeah, real nice you were in exactly that situation. Right. Yes. Oh, he got the, got the steal he wanted. Bowie on the fast break. And he scores it. Bowie. Oh, Bowie better be careful. He called for that taunting technical foul. He don't want that to happen. Coach, they're down by five with 131 left, coach. 
those apples will hurt you. The other apple long. turnover right there, coach. Full length of the court right here. What are you doing? You're going to you're going two, two, one press? You're going a one, one, three, one half court? What are we doing here? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to put pressure, but I wouldn't put pressure right now. You got a minute 31 left. You could play some good defense, good possession, get the first rebound because they've been getting second and third opportunities. Troy White has to get the first rebound. Right now, you don't have to resort to trapping. Might not be an attitude. I did it get up. However, with that Adams kid and what he can do in the open court, I would be a little bit careful with trapping him. You know, so you may want to right here just have a good possession. You're only down by five points with a minute 31 left. That's a lot of time. Get your first rebound and then get a good possession here. So right now, if I'm coach, I'm getting ready for when we get the ball back and what we're trying to do here as well. And that's what I'm telling them. We need a good shot, get the first rebound, and our offense, let's get a good look that we want. I think also, I think mm -hmm. for me, uh, it depends on what Mr. Anderson is doing. If Mr. Anderson is going to be the first guy to get the ball out of bounds on this, I'm going full court press. If he's anywhere near half court, I'm backing off. Going to go half court. Yeah, I agree I with mean, you, there, Coach. But now they put him in a position where if he gets the ball where yeah, he's right, at now, yeah, he can no big deal. He can yeah, do damage. Yeah, but yeah. I agree with you, Coach. Look up, easy in. Oh, they could attack there. They, 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 could, they could have attacked there. Oh, he got the steal they wanted, Coach. He got Mr. Cassell, Joe Cassell. Oh. You know what? I think the coach, the referee had a bad angle. It looked like Joe touched that after he got knocked out of his hand there, coach. Oh, I didn't see, coach. I missed that angle. But Saratoga has to be careful here. A lot of times when you have a league, you start to be too conservative on offense. Yes, yes, and you, like yes. I, on that last possession, I thought they had an opportunity for a two-on-one fast break, and you got one of your explosive scores in the open court. You keep attacking. You start being conservative. You start turning the ball over down here. You might wind up giving this game away. Oh, Elijah Davis has been knocking that three ball all day. And he neglected to take that shot now, Coach. Is yeah. Touchdown? Oh, Bowie goes strong to the yeah. cup. Oh, they're down by three with one minute. They're in this game, Coach. Down by three points here. I think the Blue Streaks tighten up late, Coach. They yeah. Tighten up. And, and sometimes, the, you know, the coach has to, sometimes the coach over you over there yeah. and you're trying to preserve a victory. Yeah. Sometimes the last thing you do is try to take the air out the wall. Right, right. And not only, and you, you got to realize why you have to attack because not only is Troy putting sometimes a full court pressure, they're also trapping in the half court set. Right, so right. if you're not being aggressive in the half court set and you're attacking, you're prone to get trapped. That's right. You know what That's I mean? Right. So what they need to do is stay in attack mode for this last minute. They by no means got this game wrapped up. And what they got to remember too, they got three, or they got two, definitely two guys, maybe possible three guys with foul trouble. Why not go at these guys? I How agree. How do you forget that? I agree. Come on, be aggressive. I agree. I agree. You got to be aggressive here. You got to be aggressive here. Now you might be forced to let your guys loose now, and then, you know, I, I, I think he lost the opportunity there, maybe two trips down. Coach, who, who's number three? Matt Larkin. This kid hasn't seen a lot of playing time tonight, and he's inserted to the game in he his last minute. Great, he must be a great free throw shooter. But it ain't time for Troy to foul, so I don't understand that. Oh, true. Oh, coach! Oh, he got it blocked. He had the perfect shot. He got it blocked. You couldn't ask for nothing more than that. Uh, Matt Larkin, the kid number three, coach, he's made five three three five three points on the season so far. He has yet to be to the free throw line for all season. Brandon uh, subs him out. Apparently, Brandon Holmes fouled out. Oh uh, yeah, they had Detroit had what they wanted, coach. They had a they had a uh, layup right point blank after the steal in front of the basket. Got blocked. Absolutely. Mr. Anderson's at the free throw line. I know you said Larkin is um, no fan some three pointers, but I don't know in that situation what he brings to the table when you have a team trapping. He's not an ideal big big guy as well. So coach knows his personnel better than I do, but I'm just interested because this guy. Oh, oh Mr. Game. Anderson, coach. This is the clutch. This is free throw. The charity strike has been unkind for the. Yeah, he needs to make this a two possession game right here, and he That's does. He knocks it down. Big free throw there. Okay. He kicks it out. Swings it to Elijah. One more extra pass. Looks to penetrate. He gets bailed out on a penetration drive on the baseline. 
Critical free throws here. This might work out for Troy if they could get two, because they send uh, Mr. Answer to the line here. They made one, so you can get up one right now. Timeout is called by the Blue Streaks. That might be a timeout coach to freeze the shooter. Yeah, you very well more so, and you get and you get an opportunity to draw up a, draw up a play as well. So he missed the first. You call a timeout, try to freeze him, and you're drawing up a play right now. I mean, Troy has one timeout left remaining, with 46 seconds left, down by four here. Yeah. So you definitely want to get something. So, coach, for the next foul, either team, both teams will shoot a double bonus, coach, for the rest of the way. Oh yeah, and double bonus with 46 seconds left. So right now. You you still it's a two possession game whether he makes it or not, with 46 seconds left. So it'll be a, interesting to see. Well, I'm sorry if he makes this, he brings it down to a one a one possession game. And it'll be interesting to see you can uh, say two free throws, right? Did he miss the first? I don't think I'm he sorry. Shot yet. Okay, he called a timeout right on the yep. inception. Got you. Oh, he, he knocks, knocks it down, down yeah. coach. Clutch free throws right now. This is why you spend long hours in the gym. This shooting free throws, coach. Yep, he, he makes it a one possession game. And oh, 59, Troy. Blue Streak, 61. A trap in the corner. Oh! Wow! Again, the coach tells him to bring it out again. Oh! Ooh. Oh! He calls the foul. I think that's his fifth foul. Again. Coach, I thought that was a tie-up, Coach. I'm sorry. Right in front of him. Uh, it wasn't behind the guy that time. Right in front of him grabbing that ball. I just don't understand why not make that jump ball call. Sometimes in a tie-up situation, what typically happens is what the fans and the coaches can't see is that the guy sometimes are actually going there and grab his arm and route to trying to get a hold of the ball. And a lot of times you're not going to see that from your vantage point. So when you get in there, a guy grabs his arm and then grabs the ball, you got to get a guy a foul for the hold. At the line shooting the double bonus, number 11, Mike Tillman. But again, coach, they was in a fast break situation. They had the numbers and the coach backed it out. And like you said, if it was a tie-up situation, it would have been Troy High Ball. Right. Now it down. The Blue Streaks, 62. The Flying Horse is 59 with 35.3 remaining. And now it's the second one down. You got a four-point game here with a lot of time left. All you got to do is be patient, move the ball around. Oh, you get the foul. foul call, Coach. That's smart by Bowie. If he can knock these down, Coach, it's right where you want to be. You still got a one-possession game. So he got to try to move this down into a one-possession game here. Yeah, this first one is critical. Could you make this first one? Nice. Nice. You guys on the free throw line. Coach is listening. Uh oh, no, no, Valley. Okay, you almost stepped in there, coach. You give a coach a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, he distracted he Bowie in that second. free throw line. Yeah. Still a one possession game. You oh, he got here. it. Oh. You better not foul, Bowie. Okay, he's there. Oh, he caught an offensive foul, coach. Yeah. Free play game. The Blue Streak's up 63. The Flying Horse is 60. We was close, coach. You're getting that fifth foul called on him. Yeah, and that's his hand up cookie jar. In that situation, I know he's, uh, Elijah's a very unselfish player right there, and he probably should have took that all the way to the hole, and he kicked it out um, across his turnover, but they got it back with a charging foul. Timeout by Saratoga, coach. Saratoga. Be a 60 second timeout with 120, I'm sorry, with 20 seconds remaining, and the blue streak's up 63. And the, uh, uh, the 60 to uh, find horses. Question for you, coach. Yes. In this situation here, you got Troy High with the ball underneath. They're not settled. They're not going to run anything. 
you're the opposing coach on that possession. Do you call a timeout there? You give Troy an opportunity to set something else. If it's more or less you worry about your team, so more so, or uh, I'm not you know, calling a timeout there. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. My yeah. guy, them guys, the, the, the blue streaks look like they were pretty much settled in their defense. Right. They were, I didn't see much. I didn't see any confusion right. on the defensive side mm -hmm. of that. So don't give them time. To set, they might not even have any more timeouts left. They right have now. one timeout left. Each oh, team got one timeout left. Oh, man. So you give them an opportunity here to draw up something to play. You make me not have to burn my timeout exactly. as a coach. You know what exactly. I mean? So exactly. 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 Maybe the coach saw something that we didn't see with his matchups or something because uh, this right here is going to be critical. This is going to tell a whole lot right here. Yes. The special teams, coach. Easy in. Boys, Jackson. Oh! Off the backboard, nothing there. Overtime. Overtime. Troy battles back. To give Greg Davis a lot of credit, the varsity assistant coach. He came out. He used his timeouts wisely. He got him back in the game, possession by possession. Uh, Bowie was taking some uh, in the game, and he calmed himself down, got himself together, started letting the game come to him, and apparently scored their last five to seven points to get them back in the game within a tie. Now we got some free basketball going on here, guys. Great matchup. Couldn't ask for a better matchup, a better game tonight. Bowie still has four fouls, Coach, so he still has to be careful here going into this overtime right here. He still has to be careful and not draw that fifth foul and put him on the bench for the rest of the overtime period. Yes, indeed. Okay, uh, Mr. Uh, Brian Hart will jump with Elijah Davis. Oh, the blue strips win the tip. Uh, Mike Tillman has the ball. Oh. Referee calls the ball out of bounds, coach. The blue sheets retain possession. The shot clock is at 27. It's 551 left in overtime. A lot of switching by Troy. Good defense, man to man. I like to hit those sneakers screech on the, on the ground. Good work. Mr. Anderson looks to penetrate. He loses the ball, gets it back. He kicks it out to A.J. Lawton for the three. Knocks it down! To start the overtime. The Blue Street, 66. The Flying Horses, 63. Faison, shoots the three. Air ball, coach. Nothing but oxygen. Okay, Mike Tillman with the ball. He dumps it down into Mr. Hart. He posts up. Elijah Davis scores off the glass with the left hand. Boy, he gets the ball. He penetrates to Joe Cassell. He goes to the basket in the baseline. Comes up short. Troy seen the run of the gas here, coach. Connor kicks it out to A.J. Lawton for three. The rim is unkind. But, but you see here, coach, you see Saratoga getting opportunities because they're being aggressive this time. Three-point shot attempt. Oh. Cheney knocks it down for Troy from deep. 68, 66. Mike Tillman for the three ball. He's unkind. Oh, nobody rebounds the ball for the flying horses. Elijah Davis comes up with it. Troy's down by two. Timeout by Greg Davis of Troy High School. Remember, Coach, let's, uh, let's, re, let's re, uh, recap what happened. Uh, Coach Hurley got ejected out of his game in the second half. Um, and then Greg Davis came in the filling for him, and he's done some magnificent things, Coach, so far in this uh, second half and in overtime so far. They're down by two. What do you think? Yeah, Hurley got ejected in the third period. I think the third period, if, I, if my memory serves me correctly, which is not good. But they were down by approximately eight, mo eight points. 
again, if my memory serves me well, which is interesting good. But during that time, Coach Davis has done a, a fabulous job, I must say, with rallying the troops after they lose their leader, keeping these guys in the game when they could have easily bowed out, put their heads down and said our leader went down. So he has done a good job of stabilizing the ship here. And with 204 left and only down by two points, he's in a, I would say he's in a good position, Coach. Position. He's in a great position, Coach. Troy will inbound the ball. It would be interesting to see how Saratoga maintains their aggression because I think they're in this position anyway because they lacked aggression down, down that stretch in the latter part of the fourth quarter and started playing conservative. Okay, Bowie gets the ball inbound it. Looks to start the offense. Elijah kicks it. The blue streaks looks to be in a 1-2-2 uh, two, two type of defense. That middle is wide open. Oh, they called him for a blocking. Oh. Elijah Davis, that's his third foul. I'm telling you, I didn't see much there. Um, I mean, it might be emphasis this year that the referees or the officials are watching out for. I don't, you know, but I don't know there. All right, uh, the Blue Streets got the ball. They inbounded it. Connor Sullivan has the ball. He throws it away. Troy will inbound the ball. Another apple right there, Coach. Apple turnover. Those things help, hurt you. You got to stop going apple picking. Okay, boy gets the ball. No hurry right now. Gets the screen. Oh, he splits it. He got pushed. No call. Faison gets the ball. Oh, Faison gets ripped by Tillman. Tillman scores. The blue streak up by four. Critical turnover. Elijah Davis gets it. Oh, turnover. Apple turnover. What you're seeing from Troy is a little bit attentive there, and they get the steal. Isaiah attacks the glass. Okay. Coach, uh, the official Jakes came from way down here in the other free throw line to call that foul way down the other end. While the other referee, Garrity, was right there, Coach. Uh, is that unusual? No, actually not. Sometimes the lead official in that situation can get blocked out. What you want to commend Jake says is that he comes making that foul and he's charging in to make that call to let you know, like, yeah, I saw it and I'm coming all the way in and point to who actually got him. So, yeah, in that situation, when you're the lead official, you don't want to miss that call. And if your partner coming in to help you, you like it. Elijah Davis, um, too strong on that. The ball hits the posterior. Second one, up, misses two. 50, under uh, 50 seconds remaining in uh, uh, over, first overtime. Uh, the blue streaks are up by four. Troy has shown a lot of tentatives on offense, and it's, it's because you got certain guys like Fajon, he had a Wide open three that he elected not to take, and then it turned into a turnover. Elijah had a situation where he got in, and he could have turned into a turnover. These guys got to remain aggressive. I know Bowie's the guy, and he's been carrying them this second half, but you got to go ahead and lay it on the line. You better take a shot at the basket in a turnover. Okay. Mr. Anderson knocks down both. 46 seconds remaining. Kicks it out for a three-pointer. Uh, unkind. Quick foul. Uh, Mr. Anderson will go to the foul line again to pad his stats, coach. He, uh, I believe he has 30. If he doesn't have 30, he's very close to it. Ironically, coach, if he makes these two free throws, he'll have 30. <laughs> All right. Had to put him up. 73 to 66 with that first free throw made. He knocks down the second one. It's the 30th point with 40 seconds remaining.
All right, looks like Troy's not going to win this game. Um, kicks it back out. Okay, Troy fouls with 14 seconds left on the shot clock. I guess it's identical. The shot clock and the uh, game clock are identical. Troy will walk away with this win. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, the Blue Streaks of Saratoga will walk away with this win. Good catch, Coach. Yeah, you have to give Saratoga a lot of credit for coming in here in Troy High and a night like this and a game like this and come and show that we could compete with anybody. And they came in and, and put it to them, took the game in overtime, showed some poise, showed some resiliency, overcame some adversity, going into overtime, had to be a little bit of a letdown, but come in here tonight and pull out the victory. Okay. Well, he gets the rebound. Gets the draw as a foul. 10 seconds remaining. The Blue Streets up 74 to 66. Blue, Bowie uh, misses the first free throw. It makes the second. Flying horses 67, the blue streak 74. There's no foul. The Saratoga blue streaks will walk away out of there with a victory. They remain in second place in the gray division. People, the game um, has concluded, and we're in the post game uh, show right now, Emoji 2 TV. And I'm going to give you the top scores for Troy. Uh, Dan Bowie had 19 points. And. Elijah Davis with 15 points, and Brandon Holmes with eight points. Also, Joe Cassell finished with seven. Saratoga had a huge performance from Mr. Adam, Mr. Adam Anderson. He played huge tonight. Also, Brian Hart finished with 14 points. A.J. Lawton finished with 14, and Mike Tillman, uh, the heady backcourt uh, counterpart of Mr. Anderson, had finished with uh, 11 points. Um, a, a gutsy performance by uh, Saratoga tonight, I thought, Coach. Um, I think Saratoga will be in the thick of things when sexuals comes around. And um, a few people will be, uh, will be uh, vying for that spot. But I think Troy may be, may be a few games away to really find themselves and where they need to be when sectional come. I'm not sure they have an identity yet um, of who they are, what they want to be. Um, I'm not too sure yet, Coach. I got to see a little bit more of them. But what is your analysis so far? Well, I, I thought I thought Troy came out, and I think foul trouble kind of hurt them tonight. I mean, you had a situation where Bowie got into foul trouble and picked up early fouls in the first half, and then even in the second half, he picked up just fourth foul early in the third quarter, which he had to sit out a lot. So, and then you had um, they had other foul trouble that plagued them as well, where players had to sit out. That kind of hurt their flow. I thought that hurt their flow, and they wasn't able to get into their offense and in their flow like they normally are accustomed to getting in. But it's nothing to take no credit away from Saratoga. They came in tonight. They battled. Anderson put on a great performance tonight. He had some help. Contributing te teammates contributed to the cause tonight. And they pulled out, pu pulled out the victory. I got to give a lot of credit to Troy. They withstand, They withstood the onslaught to take the game into overtime. Saratoga was fortunate enough to escape out of here without a victory tonight. So you got to take your hats off to them. They did a great job. And my hat goes off to the assistant coach as well, Greg Davis for Troy High. He did a wonderful job in her, Coach Hurley's absence. So it was just one of those things. Saratoga was the better team tonight and pulled it out. Okay, that will conclude the Mojo 2 TV post game. Hello, you Mojo 2 TV. Um, we're here with Matt Usher of the Saratoga Boys Varsity uh, Basketball Program. Great win tonight, Coach. Thanks, I um, it. You really battled through through it tonight. You were up most of the game. Um, got a little tight later down the, down the line, but you guys willed your way to victory. Um, what were your keys tonight coming into tonight's game? Yeah, we wanted to try to contain their, continue to dribble penetration. They do a great job getting to the rim and getting to the free throw line. So 
Uh, when we played the zone, we tried to take away the gaps and uh, slide our feet and we did a pretty good job for the most part, but down the stretch, uh, they hit some big shots and uh, credit to Troy with that. Congratulations on your victory tonight, coach. I thought you guys came into a uh, on the road game and showed a lot of uh, toughness and a lot of resiliency. What do you have to say to that? Yeah, I think uh, the biggest thing I come away from this game with is uh, Troy made the big run, tied it up in the fourth quarter, and then we could have we could have gotten torn down with that, but we we fought back. And over time, they had the momentum. We had some big shots and got the lead back and made some free throws down the stretch to come away with the win. Like you said, on the road at Troy, uh, we're happy to come away from here with a win. What's your thought, Coach? My personal opinion down the stretch, I thought you guys got a little bit conservative there. Did you, what did you, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I thought we need to do a better job managing the game down the stretch. Um, we're at our best when we're attacking, and we tried to play smart and not get crazy and turn it over, but by trying to play smart, we ended up turning it over more than we wanted to. So, yeah, we're going to talk about that. That's going to be something we focus on here moving uh, down the stretch, and hopefully we'll be playing with the lead uh, a lot here, and we'll get better with uh, managing the lead. That's the game plan but I agree with you completely. What did you say to those guys in there after the game? You know, there was a lot of things I wanted to say that we needed to work on, but I tried to stay positive. And we talked about getting a win on the road against a good team, Troy. And like you, like you just mentioned, um, you know, some things went wrong in the fourth quarter, but we didn't let that carry over into, the, into overtime. And we came back and, you know, didn't feel sorry for ourselves, hit some big shots and, and took the lead back and won the game. Let me ask you this. What did you say to stabilize those guys going to the fourth quarter, knowing they just gave up the lead and the momentum had swung at that point? What did you say to those guys to keep them stabilized at that juncture? Yeah, we just talked about trying to take care of the ball, be strong with it, uh, make good decisions. And you know, when we did, when we did that, when we took care of the ball, we got good shots. And we, you know, when we get good shots, we got guys that can hit shots between Adam and AJ and some of these other guys. It's just being smart, not trying to do too much, and making good decisions, and not letting their pressure get to us because they're very athletic and they trap and they they get it crazy. And when we get crazy, we make bad decisions. <laughs> Speaking of Adam Anderson, coach, what do you, you got to say about his performance tonight? Oh, he's a warrior. I mean, you know. He made some decisions on the stretch I'm sure he'd like to have back, but we're, we're not in that position if he doesn't play the way he did. I mean, he's tough inside. He can handle the ball. He can knock it down from the perimeter. He, he does everything for us. He rebounds. He's our leader. Um, you know, when he plays well, we do well. If he's struggling, it's, it's tough for us to get going. So he was great tonight. He had some big shots down the stretch, and, uh, you know, he's a great player. Finally, Coach, what do you think a win, can do, a win like this type of magnitude can do for you moving forward in the season? Yeah, this is a big one. I mean, there's there's a lot of good teams in our league. Our league's loaded from, you know, the top, the Shens, the Schenectady's, all the way down. There's seven or eight teams that can, can be tough. And, you know, basically every night. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't you can't go into a game thinking you got it and you made. I mean, it's going to be a battle. And a win down here at Troy is a big one for us. And we got a couple more tough ones coming up here next week. But to get a road win down here against a good team is just, just going to help us. And we got to learn from it. And like you mentioned, uh, playing too conservative down the stretch, I'll take some of that on me. Um, mm -hmm. But... You know, we got to make good decisions. We can't throw the ball around. We had a few possessions where we played smart, took the clock down, and got a good look at the end. That was the that was the idea. You know, you know, we uh, turned it over a little too much, and that's why they they got back and forced us to go with four four more minutes. <laughs> Congratulations, coach, on your victory. Appreciate it. Thanks All a lot. Right. Thanks. And, uh, Appreciate it. Emoji Two TV. We're here with uh, Mr. Adam Anderson. This guy put on a show tonight, a performance that we haven't seen uh, this, se this season on our program. Um, what got into you tonight that, that, that got you so far? I, I saw at one point in that game, it's like you had an outer body experience where you were in a flow, you were in a zone that just, I felt that you felt nobody could stop you. I mean, uh, last year uh, they came to our place and they, he had a shot to get, I had a shot to, hit, to put in overtime and then they came back and beat us in overtime. So I just really wanted to beat them at their place next year. So we understand your motivation. We, we, we're talking to the Matrix right now. <laughs> so you dominated out there. You basically came into the game and put the squad on your shoulders for some quite some time in that game. What was your thoughts and what was going through your mind at that point? I mean, I, could, I couldn't do any of my teammates, honestly. But I mean, when they, have, when they have open shots, they hit them. I try to give it to them as much as I can. But when I, got, when I know I can take it and score, I try to as much as I can. So what are your thoughts? Because we saw at times where you shared the ball quite well, too. So not only were you looking to attack, it seemed like you appeared to be looking to get your teammates involved. Was that the goal there? Yeah, definitely. Because, I mean, I started scoring really early. So they, all the guys started collapsing on me. And I knew my coach said that guys are going to be open. So whenever I drove, I just saw like five open guys. So I just kicked them hit their open shots. 
Yeah, but th those passes weren't just normal passes. You had some, <laughs> you slithered in there, you sliced and diced, and then at the last moment you finally got underneath with a nice zip pass. I mean, the stuff you 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 put a performance out there tonight that that was very special, you know. Um, and I congratulate you on that. And you guys battled through um, overtime. What was going through your mind when it went to overtime, though? I mean, was, was guys getting tight in the regulation, and then overtime you guys you know increased a little bit. But what was your mindset going in overtime? I mean, coach always teaches us have poise and like. Just relax when they had the momentum and when I had the charge called on me I knew I couldn't just get down on myself because they had a chance to win it but uh, he always like he always stresses not to like get down on yourself so when we came out in overtime we knew how we had to put it on him okay I got one question about one of your teammates uh, uh, I believe his name is Barry, Barry. yeah um, he's a special player for you guys he doesn't he doesn't score a lot but he's the energizer bunny he gets you extra possessions he dies for loose balls what could you say about that guy I love, I love him I love him so much <laughs> he was out for the first uh I think this is his second game back and uh, I had to pay big man for the first I think it was five games but uh I I mean we, we battled through but when he came back we all knew that he was going to be a huge spark mm -hmm. Finally, what does a victory like this do for you and your team tonight? It's great, but uh, we got we got all me on Tuesday. Looking for that one. <laughs> right, congratulations! Thank you for your time. AJ Lawton, um, great performance tonight. Um, I saw doing the prep work here that you were like ranked really high in the three pointers this year in the season in the all section two. Um, I believe you were 44th um, in that three pointers or maybe 61 in that three pointers, but you were also high in free throws too, like 75%. So um, you're a guy that can put it in the hole, you know? And I saw you, you being very selective tonight. You were patient, let it come to you. Um, what was that all about tonight with your, with your game? Uh, yeah, coach has been on us. Uh, all week saying uh, we got we got to be patient on offense and the game will come to us and if when we force shots we're not at our best when we reverse the ball get it side to side that's when we're really at our strength was the goal tonight after you saw Anderson getting going was the goal tonight to kind of flow off him and kind of see what he was doing because I saw that you were spotting up in good spots and he found you and also you uh generated some of the offense on your own what was that kind of the goal after you saw him get going tonight I mean yeah he's our leader he's he's our leading scorer and he he's a special kid, so we definitely feed off him, especially when he's get when he had a night like tonight. He he was unstoppable in my opinion, and we just had to feed off him. We had to spot up, and we knew once he was getting doubled, he'd kick it because he had, he's a good passer, which many people don't really think about. They think of him just as a scorer. So, yeah. so what was your thoughts when the game came down and you might have thought you had it and you was gonna pull it out, and all of a sudden you find yourself in a dog fight? We got, yeah, we got, we got to be scrappy, and uh, in practice we go hard. We do lane slides for like 60 seconds, and we're always saying like, this is the fourth quarter. We got, we got to bring this home and stuff like that. And last year when we lost in like, overtime, it, this was a motivation. This that motivated us for the, today. So finally, what does a win like this on the road against a good team like Troy, against a good player like Bowie, what does this do for the Saratoga's confidence in moving forward in the season? Yeah, no, it's definitely a confidence. We got two great road wins. We have one at Colony and one here. So that just shows we can play with anybody, especially on the road. So that's just going to help us definitely in the future. Congratulations. Thank you for your time. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.